Good afternoon, everyone. In today's webinar, we bring to you an exciting panel of experts from the pump industry. They will, they will present to us their latest products and enlighten us on the opportunities ahead. A subsidiary of Messer Frankfurt exhibitions Gay and Beha, one of the largest event organizers in the world, Messer Frankfurt Trade Fairs India Private Limited, has a background of colossal experience of international exhibitions and conference and in the conference industry and expertise in trade fair marketing and operational for over 20 years in India. I will now like to introduce our first speaker, Mr. Mani Maran Manoharan, Manager, Business Development, Commercial Building Services, South. Mr. Manoharan is responsible for business development activities for commercial building services of Grunfos, South India. He has close to 10 years of experience in the pump industry. He joined Grun Force India in January 2011 and held various positions in the company throughout the years. Prior to joining Grun Force, Mr. Manoharan worked for Forbes Marshall and has an overall experience of 13 years. He holds a Bachelor of Engineering and a Master of Business Administration in Financial Services Management from a reputed institution. He's also a member of IPA and ISHRE. Thank you, Mr. Manohar, for joining us. We look forward to your presentation. Uh, thank you, Ms. Janevi, for uh, uh, introduction. Let me share my screen. Please confirm whether my screen is visible. Um, not yet. Yes. So I'm good to go? Yes. Okay. So can I take over the forum or should we wait for some more customers to join? You can start. Yeah, you thank you. Surely join. Please. Yeah. Good afternoon, uh, one and all. Um, on behalf of Grundfos, uh, I will take this opportunity to, to thank ISH India uh, for giving us this opportunity. And thank you all for once again taking your time and connecting in this webinar. Uh, so today I'm going to present about uh, optimized water distribution at dynamic loads uh, uh, by Grunfos uh, uh, new generation boosters. So this is the topic I would look, uh, like to uh, cover today. And in today's situation, water distribution is something which we cannot avoid. And we are handling this over a decade by several methods. Um, so uh, today's situation, even after this pandemic, it is going to highly demand us how further we are going to optimize uh, the energy uh, cost as well as the water consumption. Um, so Grunfos as a point here, we always look into it and uh, we uh, uh, improved our uh, existing hydro booster system with a uh, few functionalities, which will uh, bring more energy saving and water consumption, I mean, consumption reduction in water consumption uh, in water distribution application. So having said that, uh, let me take you to the area where we have uh, improved uh, uh, the uh, product competency and which can you know uh, bring more energy saving uh, in water distribution so the first area and foremost area is on the product side uh, so we all know when we talk about hydro booster system it's about pump motor and drives because we all know water distribution is something uh, we will handle uh, full load and and part load when, when i say it's a variable load basically so we need to have uh, motors and drives uh, uh, to do that as well uh, so conventionally in market today, we use motors, uh, which is uh, say uh, in, in terms of efficiency, it is IE3, uh, uh, in some cases we use still IE2 and connected with external drives. So let us see what is the efficiency level that we operate uh, with respect to motors and drives. There's something uh, closer to 88 to 90% with IE3 and uh, external drives connected together. and uh, which is an induction-based motor principle. And now we are with IE5 efficiency level of motor, which works based on uh, uh, permanent ma magnetic motor technology with uh, inbuilt uh, drives or integrated drives to it with controls and sensor everything in it. And what we actually uh, uh, are trying to improve here is we improve efficiency by 5% at full load and uh, 20 to 30% at part load uh, depends on you know the application and, and the load patterns what we have. So, that's something new on the product side, uh, on the efficiency improvement. And uh, with on uh, the technology, uh, yes, as I said, it's a permanent magnetic motor technology. Um, so which you can see on the uh, uh, right side, uh, where you have a uh, status with uh, windings distributed over it, and then a rotor 
with a magnet placed on the surface and here are the magnets which is integrated within the rotor. So this is something called IPM, Interior Permanent Magnetic Motor Technology, which Grundfos adopts, which is more steady and uh, uh, which will have high efficiency in, in terms of you know, uh, uh, the losses. So here the graphical representation shows that uh, we can have avoid 47% of losses, which is greater in uh, a conventional induction-based motor. So that is where the energy saving is coming from. So this is on the uh, technology uh, uh, front. And on the ranges, uh, IE5 uh, motors for pumps is widely available up to 11 kilowatt, which is good enough uh, for a water distribution hydro booster application. And uh, the other uh, advantage of having IE5 motors is, as I said, it, it has an integrated drives to it, so it saves a lot of space. And uh, fortunately, we can run this motor at a higher RPM, so it actually brings the pump size also for the same. Uh, uh, duty parameter which we handle with IE3 motor with, with four pole and two pole motors. So that is the other savings. And going further, data is everything. So we need data to measure the system efficiency. Uh, so this kind of technology uh, uh, can bring uh, uh, the, uh, the parameters, I mean, uh, the uh, flow parameters, the pressure parameters, and the energy, energy uh, parameters without additional instruments. So we can save on. Uh, investing additional instrumentation also when we have IE5 motors uh, fitted with the pumps. Uh, and, uh, and the efficiency comparison is, this is on full load comparison, IE2, IE3, IE4, and IE5. So we can see IE3 uh, at full load can go up to 70% and it can maximum go up to 92 to 93%. Whereas with IE5, uh, we can, for any ranges, we can sustain at 80% and even we can hit 95% at full load. But the interesting factors are part load. Still, we have uh, the uh, uh, more savings when compared to conventional induction motors. We have seen application where we can save up to average 15 to 20 percent or 25 percent, especially at uh, part load and lean load uh, condition. And this is on the product side. And moving uh, the uh, and, uh, and and a small explanation about how much we can expect in terms of energy saving. A small comparison uh, from a live site data. Uh, so uh, this is existing IE3 motor with external drive system where the energy consumption for various load patterns starting from 100 to 0% uh, is 170 uh, kilowatt hour per day. For the same um, profile, if you uh, switch over with IE5 motors with integrated drives, we can have uh, the uh, energy reduction close to 20%. And, and we can have a saving close to 1 lakh, uh, 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 close to 1 lakh uh, rupees uh, in, in terms of rupees uh, uh, when compared with IE. Uh, three motors which we are using conventionally in place. So this is just a perspective how much we can expect in terms of energy saving by just switching a motor from IE3 external drive to IE5 permanent magnetic motor technology. And the second area is on the operational philosophy. So when we talk about hydro booster system, it is not a pump, it's a system. So we need to understand how we control as a system to have a better energy saving. If Till today, what uh, uh, we, the control mode we use to uh, make uh, the hydro booster to work is a constant pressure control mode. So let me put uh, more details into it for a better understanding. So when we say constant pressure, uh, when we design a head for a, a hydro booster pump, we take three parameters. One is a static height of a building, and second is a terminal pressure, and third is a frictional loss. So out of these three, static head and uh, Terminal pressure is almost static, which is fixed, which is not going to vary with respect to flow. But friction loss is something which vary with respect to flow. So we want to take that advantage and see how we can further optimize the energy consumption. It's not only about energy consumption, we say water consumption also. So uh, just breaking through a pump curve, for example, we all know pump curve like x-axis is the flow and y-axis is the head. And this is a duty curve point, uh, the flow and head, the max, the peak flow. So for the peak flow, the head which we have arrived is say uh, eight, 80 meters. But when we reduce the, the consumption reduces, the friction loss also reduces, but we are not reducing the set point. We maintain a constant set point for variable flow, which is not required. So what happens is when we do that, we put more pressure on the pipe, we consume more power and we sell out more water uh, for the consumption. So we are moving from constant pressure approach to a proportional pressure approach, which means it's very simple. We are taking friction loss compensation as additional benefit, and our set point will be dynamic. When there is a reduction in the flow uh, consumption, 
the set point reduces automatically and hence the power consumption uh, will reduce. So this is the concept we are trying to bring with the help of proportional pressure. So it, it, it not only saves energy close to 10 to 15 percent, it also saves water uh, uh, consumption also. So when we operate with uh, constant pressure, we consume 33 percent more water than what we operate with proportional pressure. So by enabling into proportional pressure mode of uh, hydro booster system, we save energy. This is with respect to operational philosophy. And the last one is uh, the system configuration. We all know when we use hydro booster system, we size uh, uh, two working one standby or three working one standby of same capacity. That is okay for a full load. But most of the time we operate at part load. Let it be a residential or commercial or IT building. Our uh, variable loads will be more and peak loads and lean loads will switch over here and there. So when we operate a bigger pump for you know 20 or 30 or 40 percent of load, it drops its efficiency. So we need to maintain a higher efficiency or even at a, a part load. So what we did is we introduced something called jockey pump or pilot pump, which is designed a 20 percent of main pump capacity. So whenever we have a lean load or you know load closer to 20, 30 percent, this pump will take over and operate uh, uh, with higher efficiency uh, to maintain the same system efficiency at all the loads. So this is a, again just a comparison. When we have a multi VFD system with jockey pump with proportional pressure. We end up in saving 17 to 18 percent. It's again a life cycle data. So, uh, jockey pump is of course it brings a lot of savings uh, when we uh, operate at you know part load condition or lean load condition. So, henceforth we are not seeing a water distribution application with respect to pump efficiency. We need to see as a system efficiency. So, even today we talk about you know even hydro buying hydro boosters, we say pump efficiency at 80 percent. So we should not see in that perspective, we should count what is the motor efficiency, what is the VFD efficiency, and how my system is efficiently behaving at part load. So the simple terminology what we are looking henceforth for putting efficient system is how much specific energy that we are going to consume to move one liter of water. So that defines the system efficiency. So for ha to have better system, I mean specific energy consumption or lower specific energy consumption, we should have IEFI motors, jockey pump, proportional pressure, and all, if you have all with VFD, that will give more savings, of course, uh, for handling the variable load uh, uh, demand. So that's it from uh, my end. And we have uh, supplied this system uh, uh, almost for the last two years. We have uh, sold more than 300, 400 systems across India with uh, IEFI motors and jockey pump and proportional pressure, which we definitely see uh, energy improvement uh, uh, in the system behavior compared to a conventional IE3-based uh, you know, external drive system. So uh, thank you. For, uh, that's it from my end. If you have any queries on this specifically, uh, uh, please uh, put it to me so that I can, uh, I mean, give the replay uh, as relevant to this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Manoharan. Yeah. Um, there aren't any questions as yet, but of course we'll take them again if they do come up. Our next speaker is Mr. Santosh Kurbet, Business Unit Head, Standard Pumps, Ibarra Missionary, India Private Limited. Mr. Santosh is an engineer by qualification with an experience of 26 years in pumps. He joined Ibarra in 2001 in Dubai to head the sales in the Gulf region. He was deputed to India to set up a liaison office in 2010, a stepping stone for Ibarra Standard Pumps in India. And now since 2017, he's with Ibarra Missionary, India Private Limited, as the business head for Standard Pumps. Ibarra is one of the leading Japanese pump manufacturers since 1912. Thank you, Mr. Santosh. Please, you may go ahead. Look forward to your presentation. Uh, thank you, Neil. Good afternoon to everybody. Uh, I hope I'm audible. Uh, yes. Well, uh, first of all, yes, since you're, uh, I hope all of is safe uh, from this uh, coronavirus, COVID-19 situation which we are all facing. So this is the reason we have taken this opportunity to get into a webinar presentation. Uh, well, I'll just brief you, I mean, I'll start off with uh, presenting what Ibarra is basically, I mean, uh, about brief about our history. Well, we always start with uh, a Japanese saying, which is basically that uh, Ibarra's founding spirit that is imbibed in the Ibarra employees. Uh, yes. by our, Will yeah. you share your, you're sharing your screen? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 
Yes, now we've got it. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Well, I'll start with uh, the founding spirit of uh, Ibarra, Natsutu Mukato, which is imbibed uh, in Ibarra employees. Uh, this is uh, this is the founding spirit of our founder, uh, Mr. Hate Kaima. Uh, it says uh, the spirit of enthusiasm and sincerely supporting creativity and inventiveness. It means doing everything with passion. That's how uh, Ibarra team always tries to uh, work on it. So the company was founded back in 1912 by Mr. Hate Kaima and uh, Dr. Uh, and Dr. Uh, Inukuchu. So this was the company was established, was founded in 1912 in Tokyo, Japan. The company was initially established, uh, was founded as the Inukuchu Type Mushri uh, office, which was later incorporated as the Ibarra Corporation in 1920. So it is more than 20 years uh, since the company has been uh, incorporated as Ibarra Corporation. So in these, uh, in the uh, till now, I mean, so KBF, Ibarra has also gone through various phases, manufacturing various pumps. The core business of Ibarra has always been manufacturing pumps. So that's the reason we say that we are, we can say that we are one of the leading pump manufacturers uh, in the world. So, well, in India, Ibarra was uh, set up as a liaison office in 2010, uh, which was a stepping stone uh, of uh, we getting into India. In 2017, the company was formally incorporated as Ibarra Machinery India, basically to set up the, the plan is basically to set up a factory in, in India. In Ibarra, uh, we have three verticals. Well, this division, what I belong to, we, uh, we call it a standard pump. That's the reason it's mentioned as a uh, standard pump business unit head because I am responsible for the standard pump business. So this is a different vertical. So in fluid moisture systems group, we have standard pumps, we have industrial pumps. Industrial pumps is basically pumps related to infra or uh, the oil and gas segment. And we are also into compressors, turbines, HVA, I mean, chillers, cooling towers, and so. Uh, the second division, the other division is the environmental engineering group, uh, group where we do manufacture incineration, incinerators, basically. Also, we do manage your waste. We also do waste management as well as do turnkey uh, pumping stations, sewage pumping stations. So it's a basically township pumping stations, we can say. Uh, then the third group, what we have is a precision machinery group where we manufacture basically uh, something like vacuum pumps or components for the semiconductor industry. So also the chemical, uh, mechanical polishing systems as well, that's what we do in precision machinery group. So the division of standard pumps basically comprises of base of centrifugal pumps, mainly related for water and wastewater. Uh, since this forum is basically uh, is uh, mainly since it's driven by EPA, which is mainly related to plumbing. So I'll be presenting the products basically related to the building service segment, which will, uh, which will be mainly for water and wastewater. So the pumps, what we are also into domestic pumps, we can say the domestic booster set. As a manufacturer, we do manufacture uh, for a pump of a 0.37 kilowatt, we get into a megawatt range. This is what Ibarra is basically. So we do manufacture pumps in cast stands. And main thing is that all the pumps what we're presenting, these are basically designed and manufactured by Ibarra. So the sheet metal pumps, which are focusing more mainly in India, uh, the CDX or the two CDX matrix for waste water applications, for booster applications, for the household boosters with electronic units and so, these are the pumps what we can supply for the wheelers and so. And then pumps for, uh, with, uh, for the kitchen applications and so we call it the WWO. The main product what uh, here for the high rise buildings, where the vertical multi-stage, which we, we go up to is, uh, 300 meters. Uh, this is basically a product which we can use with a standard uh, motor, which I'm not getting into the product, uh, main uh, technical details, but I'll just brief you that this product, we can use any standard IC motor. We don't require a special motor because we balance the stuff from the pump and itself. So we have designed uh, impeller called, we call it a shuriken impeller, which is again, uh, a, uh, we have registered for fed, uh, fed end. Then we have the cast stand with stainless steel impeller and the main product is the three series, what you see, in the bottom of it, that's the series three, which is uh, a patented product again of Ibarra, uh, which is the casing. Basically, you can have it as a mono block or a close coupled or a long coupled. This product you can use it for the booster set. The main advantage is that okay, it has a, a sheet metal impeller, so your torque on the motor is less, so you can use it for the booster application. If the, if the pump is a cast pump, yes, they can have a higher torque on the motor shaft, so it may not be uh, feasible when you have high number of start stops. Whereas this, having a sheet metal, 
you can use it for the booster pumps as well. So, and it has got a very high efficiency because of the uh, volume of the casing, which we manufacture. The volume is basically, the casing is manufactured by hydro forming process, which I'll show you a picture later. So this is one product, what we are really pushing into India, wherein the pressure where you have a requirement of the six bar or seven bar, this product is really feasible. Basically it's an efficient product as well as it's a, you can say economical one as well and with low maintenance. So this is how the casing looks like. Uh, the casing is basically, it's manufactured by hydro forming process where we inject water at uh, almost uh, 1400 bar. So which forms like a balloon basically. So that's how we get a precise volume, which gives a high efficiency as well as we also have a low NPSH requirement compared to the end section farm. Also, we have done the modification of the casing basically to cut down on the noise level. Since uh, the single stage pumps are relatively noisier compared to the vertical, compared to the multi-stage pump. So because of the volute uh, size. So here we have done, uh, we have made a round uh, tongue shape on the casing side, basically to cut down on the, no uh, on the noise level. So since these pumps are also used on the rooftops. So you cannot have a noisy pump out there in, in, on the roof. Uh, well, I mean, so when we have been saying about this, the main pump, okay, what we have been doing is that these pumps are basically for transfer and booster application. So this is a booster system, what uh, we have been doing in India. So these pumps, even we can use the three series as well in the same K, in the same uh, uh, <coughs> systems, uh, instead of a vertical multi-stage. So we can offer with various, uh, the same with BFD, without BFD, as well as uh, jockey systems and so. So this is the display of, it's a graphical display what we have on the, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the panel. So these are certain pictures of our uh, booster set, which we have installed. And uh, one of the key, uh, one of the very good reference what we have is uh, the Bangalore Airport uh, T1, which has been fed by, uh, presently the T1 is fed by Ibarra booster set. Then coming to the uh, hot water and cold water circulation, so we have the small circulators, which you can use it for your showers as well. So the smaller pumps, so we can have with the electronic system as well as a standard uh, uh, circulator. Then coming to uh, the HVAC segment, uh, and, okay, plumbing as well as HVAC, building service segment. So here we have the inline pumps, we can offer with I3, I4, I2 motor. Basically, yes, India is basically, uh, it will change, so it, it used, it's more of I2, but we can also offer I3, I, I4 as well. That's the standard what we're offering. But since to be competitive in India, we can have given option as I2 as well. So the long couple end section, as well as the split case. Uh, in terms of the end section pumps, main feature is that we are, the pump is, uh, in terms of efficiency, it's one of the highest efficiency. Hydraulic efficiency is much higher than most of the competitors, I would say. So then we have the split case pumps which we can go is up to 3000 meter kip per hour, which has got a compact design. So your footprint or your pump room size can reduce because the bearing assembly is uh, compact. So we have a short shaft. The shaft shaft means, okay, that's an advantage that, okay, when the deflection on the shaft also reduces. So the, the large split case pumps, the giant ones, we can go is up to 2000 meter kip per minute. So we can get into the megawatt range basically in these cases, in these pumps. So, now coming to the HVAC controller, well, we are offering the various controllers, means okay, we are giving uh, your primary, tertiary, second uh, controllers basically. So with, uh, we can offer as per the customer requirements basically. So with various uh, options, means okay, if you want to set in the system the way you want, means okay, we can design, we can design as per your uh, requirement. So we do a systemization uh, in your, for your, uh, for most of your HVAC systems. So this is how the display will, the, will look like on the panel. So the wastewater systems, uh, so the, for the dewatering pumps, for uh, the pump rooms or uh, for clear water we can say. Then we have uh, the, again, uh, the contractor's pump which can be used for uh, at the time of bridging. Also we are all giving, supplying you uh, the panels as well. The sewage pumps, again, DWD, uh, DW Wax is one of uh, kind of a unique pump, I would say, which is made of I mean, complete sheet metal that is in series of four, which you can go is up to uh, 3 HP. In this case, uh, the pump means it can handle a 50 M solid size. This is something unique design. It's a sheet metal, it's very light to um, carry as well. Then we have the cast pumps as well, which you can offer in 
for usually the normal is uh, 40 degree ambient temperature we can also offer for higher uh, temperature uh, liquid temperatures as well up to 80 degrees when you have the laundry uh, liquid the laundry water coming in so it's very well higher liquid temperature so those uh, applications also what we can offer here we can offer with uh, with the non clog the single channel non clog or multi channel non clog or grinder or cutter application here another feature is that uh, we are offering the cutter pump with up to uh, with a flow of up to 135 meters per hour this is quite uh, substantially bigger size you can say and here uh, the motor is basically a four pole motor driven pump so you wear on the casing uh, reduces so this is something what you can look into when you have a higher flow application so the d tank it's basically a lifting system where you collect the waste water and then uh, pump it out so we can use it for basically for the domestic sewage application or domestic uh, uh, dewatering application also we are offering mixers as well uh, with ic motors by default so here uh, we are giving in cast as well as in 316 options for aerators as well usually when we have large canals or fountains when you have a landscaping and so these uh, aerators can be considered for those uh, applications <clears throat> so borehole as well here also we are using borehole pumps for boosting applications as well where we have a issue with uh, uh, an underground tank or you don't have a over a tank so this is where we went on to over a tank with the, the above ground, ground tank with the positive suction so here the you can use a borehole pump with a booster application we have supplied it with the vfd as well so various types of uh, submersible pumps sorry uh, we can offer in 304 as well as in 316 as well as uh, we can offer uh, special pumps for the boosting application in these cases as well so that's all for my presentation i hope means uh, i'm within the time limit thank you very much yeah thank you mr santosh uh, we have a few questions um, one of the questions is do you, do uh, does Ibarra manufacture process gas compressors like sulfur dioxide, hydrogen fluoride gas, etc. pumps? Uh, well, for uh, sulfuric acid, up to certain for certain uh, concentration, we can offer. We have pumps in plastic, basically polypropylene pumps. Basically, that's basically from Japan. So those we can offer. But uh, for gases, uh, means okay, there is another division which they can answer because uh, this is not related to standard pumps. So in this case, I cannot answer that in terms of the gas or the gas is concerned. But in terms of HPA support, yes, we can uh, up to certain, uh, for certain uh, concentration or certain chemicals we can supply. Okay. Um, also, do you all deal with nuclear pumps? Was another question. <laughs> well, means uh, well, we do manufacture nuclear plants. Means okay, uh, but nuclear pumps again. <laughs> Frankly, okay, again, it comes to uh, another division of ours. Uh, well, they can work on that basically. We call it the custom pump division. Okay, I'll just take one more question. Um, what are the active mechanisms for rotor thrust control? Rotor? Thrust, rotor. T H R U S T. Thrust rotor control. thrust control, you mean to see is it for the vertical multi stage or for what? Because this is something. <laughs> Okay, I will forward See, because the question. I, I, because I feel that maybe they are asking for the vertical uh, pump. Maybe that's what uh, the person is okay. Uh, that would be the question. Where what we do is that basically there is a thrust on the motor shaft. So basically to balance that, we need to either because uh, we need to have a uh, either you need to uh, have a special motor with a built-in thrust bearing or you need to balance it from the pump side by having a thrust bearing in the pump end. Or what we have done is that uh, well we had the design with the thrust bearing in the pump end as well. Okay. Which we have now we got in, we have removed it, and we have got in with a different impeller that's what we call shuriken impeller. So that is how we are balancing the thrust. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, I will now we'll go to the I, I will share the other questions later yeah. after the webinar. Maybe you could uh, we go to yeah, our next because even I can see that, yeah, because the Zibara supply small horizontal booster sets one working one standby. Yes, we do. We do. Means okay, we can. Uh, but again, means small. How small? That is another question. Means okay, we can go is up to say a pump of starting from say 0.37 kilowatt. We get into uh, in terms of household booster, it would be up to say 3 HP, not more than that. Okay, fair enough. 
we uh, thank you so much, Mr. Santosh, for your presentation. Yeah. We go to our next speaker. Our next speaker is Mr. Abhijit Kulkarni, Divisional Manager, BNC Automation and Instrumentation at Kirloskar Brothers Limited. He is a product design development professional in the field of automation and instrumentation. He has 27 plus years experience in design development and business development of automated control systems. Currently, Mr. Kulkarni is responsible for heading the design and development and business development activity for packaged pumping systems. He's also responsible for the development of the IoT-based remote monitoring control solutions, energy conservation activities, as well as design of control systems for various trunk key pumping projects and process control systems. Thank you, Mr. Kulkarni, for joining us, and you may go ahead Thank with you. your presentation. Yeah. So uh, I am audible and uh, my screen is visible. So good afternoon all uh, and thank you uh, ISH for arranging the webinar. Uh, I will be presenting automated pumping uh, or smart package pumping systems uh, on behalf of India. Uh, I think uh, this subject is a need of our, uh, today we have a very limited uh, limited resources and limited time uh, and also physical presence of skilled manpower is a major concern today so on this background i will just uh, go on to the, my presentation uh, smart uh, or automated package pumping systems so kbl has got uh, 130 years legacy in uh, uh, pumping solutions so just to know why a customer should go for uh, automated package pumping systems, what are the advantages? So uh, the, these systems are completely factory fitted, factory tested solution. So all the components, all the elements in the system are well tested in the factory. So you will get assured quality out of it. Uh, single point responsibility is again a one very major point. Uh, Today, uh, coordinating with multiple agencies is very difficult. So here you get a complete, uh, you know, single point responsibility from KBL. So we are responsible for all the all the total system. So that is again an advantage. Then uh, the systems are uh, like plug and play kind of solutions. So you just have to uh, connect the pipelines and then the power to it, and then it starts working. So it reduces installation and commissioning time drastically. Again, uh, it saves on the civil uh, work and labor because those are skilled bond systems. It has to be just placed and then uh, the things can be started. Uh, it has got complete automatic operation. Uh, so no manual intervention and no additional manpower is required. It's a total integrated solution. Uh, that is why it can be inspected at factory. Uh, also, we have a remote kind of uh, inspection facility at factory so that it can be uh, completely tested, site simulated. And then uh, these systems are smart and uh, energy efficient design. So it will save energy of the uh, or running cost of the uh, running cost of the equipment. So this is what is the advantages customer will get out of this system. Then uh, why they should, uh, you know, prefer KBL? <clears throat> so KBL uh, uh, has a variety of pumps. We are manufacturing around 75 different type of pumps as per the application needs, which is a special point. Uh, flexibility in offering is we can offer uh, customized solutions very easily. That kind of infrastructure and facilities are available with you. And with this large project ba product basket, it can be offered very easily. Uh, we use uh, C and UL approved controllers and VFD and other electronic components, which are the vital part of this particular systems. We have got complete in-house system engineering capabilities. So we can design uh, hydraulic design as well as mechanical design, electronic design, electrical design. So all these capabilities we are having so we can uh, do that uh, within a short period of time. Uh, 
uh, we are also uh, uh, our systems are also available with smart smart technological options like iot based remote monitoring uh, this kind of uh, technology can be coupled to any of our products or systems and then we can manage the systems remotely very easily we have got state of art manufacturing at automated test facilities which gives us you know um, uh, complete uh, testing and site simulation kind of uh, scenario where the quality and the reliability is assured and another very important point is wide service network you know kbl is having a very wide service network we can reach very easily uh, to the two tier or three tier cities and that is again due to the restrictions on the movement today it is very important point so those all criteria kbl is you know far superior i just will go to the technological thing uh, that is kirlo smart uh, what uh, the product which is iot based remote monitoring uh, systems or solutions so just this is the theme so any system can be coupled to this kirlo smart device and then uh, this device can fetch the data various data from the system and then it will wirelessly transfer to the cloud or data analytics platform of kbl where customer can easily connect uh, their devices like uh, remote terminal or laptop or tab or uh, mobiles and they can uh, view or monitor and manage the systems uh, remotely so that that is all so that kind of uh, this is i think a smart uh, pumping solutions which is again a requirement of time so and we are we are doing this and we are getting good response from the customer so what this system uh, will give give the customers is uh, pump health monitoring pump performance monitoring predictive analysis so early attention to the issues or problems trends historical data for analysis Uh, then alarms and alerts can be communicated by sms and emails spare management function is inbuilt so uh, whatever spares are about to expire system will intimate about uh, those things it's a user uh, friendly and easy configurable device uh, also customer can get uh, reports like monthly reports or quarterly reports from this particular thing and we have got, got two solutions one is uh, fire eye and other is a kirlo smart so fire eye is specially for uh, fire fighting pump sets and kirlo smart is a uh, for other uh, kind of pump set and systems and again it's a wireless uh, remote monitoring solution so what parameters we can monitor from it is majorly for all uh, pumps and uh, motors like flow pressure power voltage current frequency power factor pump and motor bearing vibrations and temperatures then motor winding temperature run hours so in all it can cover all the um, motor and uh, pump parameters which need to be monitored by customer and then uh, as a um, facility the customers can get various dashboards uh, the visual dashboards meters so they can view and uh, take a note of all the reading as well as they can manage the systems remotely and then uh, in view of that uh, we also developed a dedicated controllers for uh, uh, this pumping systems so uh, genx 500 intel x6 intel x4 those kind of systems uh, the controllers mainly designed for hvac and pressure boosting systems and other water management systems uh, it will have more options like uh, for human in machine interface uh, it will be used for uh, with uh, for operators to set uh, and view the parameters so it can be available in key type or touch screen type uh, graphical so those kind of options are available and these are some of the photographs of the products and uh, controllers and control panels what we design and uh, manufacture you can see complete control panels with vfds and controllers we we can offer you the control panels in ip54 and ip55 kind of uh, ratings these are the you can see these are the panels and here 
right hand side photo you can see one of the pressure booster system it is coupled with kirlo smart uh, remote monitoring system also so that kind of systems and control panels we design and manufacture coming to the pump side uh, we have various kind of pumps which are which can be used for uh, uh, pressure boosting and hvac application so these pumps are very popular pumps acl and ksl uh those are vertical inline pumps uh, we are also coming up with i5 motors then uh, horizontal multi stage pumps then uh, submersible pumps so all these pumps uh, we can operate on the vfd so all the motors are suitable for vfd operation and then for higher flow requirements these are the pumps like kpds is a wet fit design pump or uh, it can be used uh, for uh, hydropneumatic systems or package pumping systems booster systems then uh, vertical and uh, horizontal split case pumps it can go up to 4500 meter cube per hour and the mid range is of end suction pumps so it can go up to 750 meter cube per hour so all these solutions all these pumps we are using to construct or manufacture our uh, booster system so i'll just go to the various designs or themes you can see the various design options so here you can see uh, the pumps vertical inline pumps and various designs of the systems you can see the panel is mounted on uh, skid itself separate panel because it's a big system then uh, you can also see the pilot pump system where one pump is smaller than other two pumps already the advantages of this system is described but uh, in all this can cater wide uh, kind of flow requirements then we are coming also coming up with i5 uh, kind of motors and then the skid and piping we can offer ms galvanized as well as ss panels we can uh, offer skid mount or wall mount configurations we can offer fixed speed or cascade or all vfd so all kind of uh, options are available then here you can see various pumps like uh, some of the vertical pumps uh, and uh, hypn system or pressure booster system is manufactured with that then you can see one of the customized design with uh, y strainers and uh, with end suction pumps then uh, bottom side is again end suction pump hydropneumatic system so different different designs uh, we already implemented and uh, we have done all these things here you can see a system with uh, wet fit design so motor is uh, on the above ground and uh, the hydraulics is at bottom so it's a submerged kind of thing and then uh, right hand side you can see uh, the submersible pumps which are used for hydropneumatic system uh, it is completely submerged in the water so all these kind of designs uh, and uh, we manufacture and we supply this kind of system smaller system uh, or uh, you can say terrace booster or small systems these are the options with single pump with uh, one working one standby pumps so this can be used as a terrace booster or as well as small bungalow villa projects then these are the bigger flow kind of skid based system designs uh, which can be provided for uh, pressure boosting as well as hvac here you can see the complete piping uh, pumps with various designs and then panel is hanged to the or mounted on the skid itself so all these designs we can do and we are doing uh, for years also one another concept uh, we are using containerized set to set up all the pumping system inside the container so it can act as a complete pump house you have to just uh, you know uh, plug in the pipes and uh, supply and it start working so it can eliminate the need of, need of complete pump house so this can, these are very popular uh, and we are using this for fire fighting system hvac system so this kind of systems are uh, uh, manufactured by us you can see various designs uh, we have done for uh, some of our customers and with any of the pump we can uh, supply this kind of system completely skid based bigger pumps can be provided with i2 i3 and i4 motors and also uh, one major uh, product line where dewatering is uh, our product line so 
here we can use these options this is called as auto prime pump sets so these are mainly used for disaster management flood relief and then also for dewatering purposes so we have provided this kind of uh, systems or uh, solutions to major cities uh, airports then municipal corporation and it industries where uh, it can you know um, quickly relieve the water so you have to just again here also the options are available like it, it can be a motor driven it can be a engine driven it can be a trolley mount so that you can tow the things very easily it can be a stationary it can be with canopy or open execution so all kind of varieties available so standard capacity goes from 200 to 1100 meter cube per hour uh, but uh, me sorry to interrupt you but uh, yeah yeah it's a last line man it's yeah, last okay. yeah so this is this can be even supplied customized way also so this is from uh, my side thank you very much uh, for the uh, patience listening and <laughs> uh, hope to hear you from thank you mr kolkarni uh, we we have a we have a question uh, this is from mr subhash um, he wants to know when we provide hypn systems are the control panel or product capable of an rs485 series do you provide with software for the same yeah yeah we we are providing this rs485 modbus option uh, with our control panel so you can integrate this with your bms system easily okay uh and one more question mr lomesh had asked a uh, 50 hertz motor maximum rpm is 5800 is is that so uh can you ask me again the yeah repeat it again uh, a 50 hertz motor maximum rpm is 5800 50 hertz motor with 5800 rpm rpm yeah is it's yeah, a question normally uh, normally the induction motor of 50 hertz uh, can go up to 2900 or if it is a permanent magnet motor it can go up to 3000 rpm if it is a 60 hertz if it can be run on 60 hertz it can go up to 3600 rpm okay uh and okay one more or uh, not we'll take just one more question does kbl have an ie uh, 34 motor yeah kbl has got ie 3 uh, motors for inline pump and other for other pumps kbl has got ie 3 and ie 4 pumps also okay okay yeah that's the question thank you so much mr kulkarni yeah thanks a lot yeah i have just uh, there was just one question uh, which came after uh, grunforce finished their presentation um, mr manoharan uh, pumps with ie5 motors is costly is costly by approximately what percent compared to an ie3 yeah, we can count 5 to 7% on an average uh, depends on the kilowatt 5 to 7% yeah. okay okay thank you so much um, attendees we do have two polling questions we request you to please participate in it oh you would see it in your on the screen now ronak you can share it which kind of pumps are you interested in getting more information on is it the pumps for drinking water processing water process water pumps domestic water supply pumps centrifugal pumps pumps for pressure boosting system draining pumps and systems or the waste water pumps okay we could have the answer the polling results maximum is for the centrifugal pumps and pumps for pressure boosting systems is on 31% and then it's followed with the waste water and pumps for drinking and processing water we have the domestic water supply pumps also which was at 11% okay uh, could we have the next question ronald
what are the criteria that you look at before you purchase a product? Is it the brand loyalty, the price of the product, or the country of origin? Okay. Son, if you could share the results. brand loyalty is 58%, price of the product is 32% and of course country of origin is 10%. Okay, thank you. Oh, we have a special announcement by our general manager, sales and marketing, that's Mr. Michael Den. Oh, Michael, over to you. Yes, so first of all, I would like to thank everybody for their presentations. Um, I think it was um, very interesting. We had um, almost all the attendees made it until the end, which is great. That means that's a, a compliment to you, gentlemen, for uh, presenting relevant content. Um, we made sure in our announcement that uh, people understand what this presentation is about, and I hope we did not disappoint with that. Um, our ISH um, this September um, in India is not able to go ahead at this stage because of the current situation. So what we are going to do is uh, at the same, almost the same day, it's mid-September, we're going to launch our digital platform to which we would like to invite all of you. Um, this digital platform, I'm going to share with you a small, just two slides, so bear with me. Um, so I can explain to you what this is all about. Um, is a product-centric and company-centric uh, tool that will allow uh, our exhibitors to uh, present their products and that enables our buyers to search for um, the products they're looking for. Um, through a very detailed product search. Now, I'm sure anyone who is listening and who is looking for solutions will uh, find out that in times of the internet, you think everything is in front of you, but it's actually not so easy to identify products, to find products and so on. So we have an artificial intelligence platform that we are going to launch and where we can uh, bring people together uh, sim similar to an uh, exhibition and where you can make appointments with your buyers and uh, there will also be some uh, of course the opportunity for uh, live interactions video calls um, knowledge sharing and so on but the focus of it all is the artificial intelligent matchmaking through product search so we are going to launch it uh, now and uh, in the next uh, six to eight weeks, we are going to bring in all the content onto the platform. And then in September, we're going live with it. So we would hope that uh, all of you are going to participate there. And um, what we mostly hope for is that you make new business connections. And with that, I would like to thank everybody for attending this session. Um, all the questions that were not answered, we are going to distribute to the speakers. And uh, we'll, we would like to ask our speakers to answer them as best as they can. And with that, I would like to thank you all and wish you a pleasant day. I would thank you speakers and attendees for a fruitful session. Uh, there will be a short survey that will pop up on your screen before you leave. Please, we request you to kindly uh, share your feedback with us. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. 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 Thanks a lot.